sensory experience, but in the right hands can be made to reveal the universe's most closely guarded secrets. For cheese, like the innards of sacrificed animals, the flight of a swallow or vivid dreams can be used for divination. The depth and size of a cheese holes reveal when rains will fall in a coming year, while the color of mold veins tell you whom uh, tell who shall love whom, and the scent of a hard Grana Parado depicts which army will vanquish his foes and which shall perish. The best divination, however, is done using the ancient method of fondue. One must simply melt two different kinds of cheese, preferably Emmental and Gear, in white wine or in a pinch, a dry apple cider. You must use a log stick to immerse a morsel of bread in the resultant thick soupy mixture, all the while keeping in mind the question, what shall my child be like when he or she, in the case may, be grows? And then bring the cheese-covered morsel of bread to a candle so that it casts a shadow on the wall. The shape will provide a sure and uneasy answer to your query. What? Weird. Message from an old friend. Hmm. I can't believe those bastards never read a damn Twilight book. <laughs> yeah, no, right. That's very true, Jepper. Very true. On one occasion, Muriel went on his journey to see his auntie Maribor accompanied by her nursemaid. Their path took them through a forest, and this forest led to rock, rock, rock is type of a troop of bandits. Words are hard. This infamous group was led by Flynn Selms, and all the king's men had been unable to bring them to justice. Alas, it was Muriel's great misfortune that these bandits chose to attack her carriage. Merle's nursemaid was old, blind, and deaf. She did not wait when a tree fell in front of her carriage with a loud thud. Nor when the bandits fought a fierce battle against their guardsmen. When Flynn ripped open the carriage door with his muscular arm, stepped inside, Muriel had to deal with the danger herself. Make our guests comfortable, young lady, the old nurse nursemaid muttered in her sleep, and Muriel obediently carried out her instructions. What? Um... Okay. That's that's that. Oh, is that all the weird books I can grab? I guess that is. All right. Well, that cheese book is supposed to send me on a on a quest, I think, but I kind of already done it. So. All right. So where this guy is, I'm in the square. Here, fantasy Hierarch Square, at the very top here. The shopkeeper at the very north of Hierarch Square. Ooh. It's right there. I mean, it says the sign right here. Books and scrolls. So. There you go. Okay. Where are we at quest-wise? Secondary quests. Ah, we have more contracts to do. That would happen by the way, so there we are. Where are we at? Is there nothing here? Way over there, okay. Now I know where to go. Way down this way. Dunharen. Let's do it. Let's go. 
Ah, screw those things, I don't care. Oh, look, a griffin. What? A level 25 griffin. Oh shit, not my greatest of ideas. Nope. Come on, Roach. I don't feel like fighting that. Nope. Nope, that's a whole lot of nope. It's a much higher level than me. Oh, Jesus. Go away. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> I'm not even level 18, Jabber. <laughs> Go away, Griffin. Oh my god, I don't want anything to do with that Griffin at all. <laughs> I'm level 18. <laughs> I'll come back and kill that later. Screw that Griffin. on that cloud. Okay, they don't like fire too much. What have we got? Chat so quiet. Look, there goes a tumbleweed. Hey, SCP, what's up, buddy? What happened? The guardians came plunging, looking for valuables, as if we was rich. Who killed them? Couldn't have been you. I don't have been those beasts you saw. Something stinks, and I don't mean the corpses. That's how it was. Quite well on. Someone's paid me to dwell. And who might that be? That's for me to know. Have a look around. Best stay out of my way. Okay. Oh, poor dog. Ground to the ground with great force, internal energy. 
<laughs> you doing good today, STP? Thanks, Tony. I'm the only one who can rid you of this threat. What do I know? Listen, you. If you don't tell me everything you really know, you can all die. Understand? Is that a burden you can live with? Thank you. Thanks, Tony. Tunnels beneath the village. <clears throat> tunnels. Elven ruins. We scavenge them for trinkets, small treasures. Sell them to Novigrad merchants. They're all so smart. If I'm gone wrong, not barring the door and nailing it shut resolves nothing. There are other ways out of the tunnels. Gotta be. Cap of. Oh, yeah. Nice. Ooh, it's looking strong. Fur shreds. Ooh. I believe it here until the villagers woke it. It's a vampire. Well, looks like I'm going to be going through some vampire oil. Good thing I have the enhanced version of it. How's my gear? So good. Okay. Let's do this, Geralt. It's going to be lifty. Mm hmm. time for boom that can't oh actually you know what we should meditate first and get my damn quests or my uh, items back my bombs thanks to camel and kill the ritual whatever true there we go Let's see here. I don't want any potion. I'm get rid of the dragon's dream. I'm a different bomb. So, I'm going to my cat's eye potion. Right, lots of 